How's it going folks? Eric here with Chuck and TV. Today we've got the Thompson Center TCR22. Um, I've also got the uh, Rode Wireless Go mic to try out today. Uh, we've got a lot of wind and stuff like that. We've got cars blowing by in the highway. Uh, so I'm be interested to see how the audio turns out here in this video. Uh, Garrett and myself have been investing quite a bit into this channel. And uh, if you guys would like to support us, you know, please check us out on Patreon. It's only a dollar a month. It goes a long ways. Um, also, if you don't want to pay nothing, you know, just throw a thumbs up on the video, subscribe, you know, all that stuff helps. Uh, but anyway, to the TCR 22, uh, you guys probably seen quite a few videos on these already. Uh, I'm not going to get into a whole lot of detail other than, you know, it's basically an upgraded Ruger 1022. Uh, the difference is with mine, I've, I opted for the Woodstock. Uh, they're a little bit hard to come by. Uh, definitely kind of expensive. Uh, I think Classic Firearms wants like 440 bucks. I didn't pay that for this one. Uh, I shopped around, I got a good deal on it. But uh, the, the Magpul version, I've been seeing those pretty steadily at like the 270 to $300 range. And to me, you know, just given the upgraded features of this over a 1022 that would run you $200, well worth the investment. But uh, anyway, we're just gonna try her out today. And uh, you know, I'll, I'll uh, let you guys know how I think about it. I shot a little bit at like 10 yards with this gun, just uh, shooting it, seeing how reliable it is. Got about 150 rounds to it. It only had uh, two hangups with this Federal Auto Match stuff. And it was ammo related. I mean, there's really, I don't think this, uh, I could blame it on the gun, especially when the hammer hammer strikes and there's no fire, you know, that's just something you can expect out of some bulk pack ammo, as most of you probably know already. But uh, yeah, it takes uh, Ruger 1022 mags. It's got its own mag, which uh, the only difference is this one has the last shot bolt hold open. It's kind of a nice uh, nice feature, you know, if you don't want to end up dry firing your 22 too much, it's not really all that good for them. So. Uh, anyway, yeah, I got a target out at 50 yards. Uh, just going to see how good I can shoot with these here uh, fiber optic sights. As you can see, pretty much aiming here the whole time. All the different ammo, it just keeps grouping right here. So that's with the sight as low as I can possibly get it. So it's a little disappointing there. I was aiming for there, hitting there. Here was my first three shots out of the box, and that's as low as I get that sight to go. So uh, unfortunately, the only fix I could come up with for that is um, possibly getting a different front sight, which actually might not be a bad idea because that fiber optic pretty much covers all this right up. Um, Another thing that could help is probably a different rear aperture as well, which would probably be easy enough to fix. But anyway, we're gonna set some targets out here and do, uh, do a little offhand shooting with it. Well, I did wanna give you guys a good rundown on this gun. Uh, like I said, it's just basically improved 1022. I'm not gonna get into all the specifics of that. Uh, there's plenty of other videos on YouTube. Um, look at Smock Knives uh, review on that where he tore this down compare it directly to a 1022 um you know the the bolt the machining the included rail the sights that i can't get sighted in i mean they're all just added features threaded muzzle uh biggest thing is i got the one with the wood stock and uh i do like it it's uh definitely a lot more expensive than your run-of-the-mill plastic but i'll give you a qu good little close-up view of that it's got this nice uh, laser stippling here with the uh, TC logo there. As you see, beautiful grain on the wood. Uh, I love the coloration of it. As a matter of fact, I'm kind of thinking about getting uh, all the metal work Cerakoted to match these darker highlights here. Uh, there is some minor imperfections there, as you can see where the laser kind of uh, burnt the wood a little bit. I mean, I can just sand that out, make it look a lot nicer. Um, like I said, overall, just a beautiful, beautiful gun here. Uh, check out that fit, and fit on the stock too, or on the butt plate there. The fit is perfect there. Um, 
I did notice there's a few spots where, you know, the clear coat's just a little un, is just a little uh, uneven. You know, it'd be nice and smooth right here, but right here I can feel some roughness. Uh, but overall, I mean, definitely pretty nice. Uh, definitely a good starter gun if you were gonna soup this thing up and, uh, you know, do some different things. The only other thing I might do with it, I might do something different with the trigger. I'm not sure yet. I mean, they're, the kits can be kind of expensive, you know, 200 bucks or so. Eh, I don't know if I want to do that, but one thing I do want to do is get the extended mag release. But, I mean, overall, I like it. Uh, the trigger's not horrible. I think the trigger could be a little bit better. It's a little bit spongy, a little heavy, but uh, anyway. Haven't really had any hang-ups that I can blame on the gun. Maybe just the ammo. Let's throw a little 25 rounder in here. I'm having to hold right to the bottom of that play. It's probably only about 25 yards or so. Not bad. Those were all uh, 40 grain. Oh man, I was about to say, no failures, that last one was a, uh, well, how many I got left here? Almost made it through the whole mag without a failure. Jam. Might be about due for a cleaning on this. I've got well over 200 rounds through this so far out of the box, but. Uh, let's finish up these uh, 12 ounce cans. Then I'll let you guys go do whatever it is you do when you're not uh, checking out chucking videos. <laughs> Jam or failure to feed that time. Failure to extract that time. I did end up getting those cans up there. Let me come down to these ones right here. We'll finish up on those. This whole thing is choking. All right. So. Let me bring it back here. Had a pretty interesting little choke right there. Um, failure to go into full battery. I went to pull it out and then it just got jammed right there. I think this gun might be getting a little dirty on me is all. Failure to pick up around. Failure to fire. Failure to fire, what the hell's going on here? So. Yeah, well, I definitely uh, got a lot of rounds through this thing since I cleaned it. Well, I haven't cleaned it. I basically just pulled it out of the box, started shooting. Uh, you just seen uh, some pretty pretty uh, bad reliability problems there, which uh, I don't, I'm gonna, just gonna chalk that up to this gun being dirty. Also, the ammo I have here isn't the best stuff ever. Anyway, guys, this is a TCR 22 with the wood stock. Um, overall, I like it. It's gonna take some uh, a little bit of fixing up to get it to where I want it. I'm, I'm sure of that, but uh, 
I will say, you know, 440 bucks retail price on this. That's a little bit steep. Uh, shop around, you'll find a deal on them. Uh, like I said, the Magpul stock versions are going for about uh, 270 to 300, and I think I've seen a couple that are 300 that come with a red dot sight, got soft case and sling and all that stuff. So uh, definitely a worthy investment. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you'll support us on Patreon. Throw us a thumbs up, subscribe. We really appreciate you guys tuning into these things. So have a good one. All right, bonus round, guys. Just cleaning the gun. Uh, just going to see if it runs reliably here. Got a mag loaded with uh, Winchester Super X. We're just going to make sure it runs good. I, uh, I already noticed after cleaning it that this bolt runs a hell of a lot smoother. So I don't think we're going to have any problems here. First round, failure to fire. Okay, this is a mag, one round federal, and then the rest of them are CCI. Another mag, CCI mini mag. There you go. Three different magazines, a couple different types of ammo there. Like I said, after I clean this thing, yeah, that bolt's a hell of a lot smoother. I think uh, I think we're gonna have uh, pretty good reliability with us, especially with good CCI ammo.